it's Miranda. And today, so I love macaroni and cheese. I am not sponsored. Either way, I'm making this because I want to eat it. I don't even bother with the directions anymore. Let's open this up. Always wash your hands, by the way. I have washed my hands, but always wash your hands. Got our little cheese pouch. We got our pasta. That's how it works. Don't dump the whole thing into the water. Make sure you take this out. This pasta will cover the bottom of the pan, so you want to go a couple inches above that. It's better to have more water than less water. You could always drain it. A nice time saver is if you have an electric kettle. I have one over there, but what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to really hot for a while. Not going to make it boil immediately. Depending on how hot your water gets, it may not even save you that much time. It's just a thing I do. When you have a pot about this big, it's good to go up to the, the handle. You have a toddler around, turn your handles, cook on the inside if possible. As a matter of fact, that's what I'll do. I'll cook on the inside. A good thing to do while you're waiting for your water to boil is wash the dishes. They're right here. Don't forget the water was just boiling hot. Let it run cold a little before you touch it. When you're just making regular pasta, it's a very good idea to salt the water. When you're making boxed macaroni and cheese, unless the box somehow mentions adding salt, don't add salt. There's plenty of salt in the cheese pack. A good habit to have is to wear an apron when you start cooking. I didn't just because I didn't want to cover up that it just, you know? No reason why you can't have something a little Look cute, little fun if you want. There we go. Now we're official, but we're covering the logo. Whatever. I was impatient when I was younger, and sometimes I would put the pasta in before the, before the water boiled all the way. And sometimes it makes the pasta a little like gummier. It just makes it, it has a different texture to it. I also didn't always use timers, and I would just rely on looking at the clock. Just use a timer. If you have a timer, you have your phone. We have a timer here here cook for seven to eight minutes so once i put the pasta in there when you start cooking you start getting used to what your stove and your microwave the times because they'll often be arranged like that you're better off doing the lower time and checking if you're not sure we got a nice rolling boil we're adding our pot adding our pasta in carefully don't add it from way up high don't forget this is boiling water if you don't want something to splash into it and splash onto you don't be careful just be careful. It's okay to be a little gentle with some things. Now we got our timer. Seven minutes. Just stir your pasta right away because it does try to stick together. Hearing noises. Always a good idea to have things ready for when you have to start mixing and stirring stuff up. You could do that in the very beginning before you start cooking or if you know you're going to have times like this where you're waiting on something, you could do it then. You know, when you start getting used to cooking, you can time things a little better. Okay, so this box tells you to add four tablespoons of margarine or butter and a quarter cup of milk. I don't usually do that. If you wanna follow the directions when it comes to that stuff, enjoy. In all honesty, one tablespoon is fine. Pasta water is fine. And the splash of milk works great. And if you want more, you can use another splash of milk. You don't want it too milky. That's all I'm saying. Milky mac and cheese is not good. It's like it has selective lactose intolerance. It's, it's because of stress. So I'm probably not going to use milk in this altogether. And I will show you that that still works. Some people may say, it's not as creamy, it gross. But hey, if you don't have milk in the house, or if your child wants milk a lot, you don't want to use a little glug of it for something when you don't need to. This is about to finish. I'm going to get my strainer. I have one of those side of the pot ones, but it's in the dishwasher. Because I'm using some pasta water, I can either put some aside now or partially drain. So I'm just going to drain until I feel like I have a good amount of liquid. Throw the butter in. Give it a chance to start melting. Powdered cheese shake.
And sometimes you want more butter. Sometimes you want more milk. I'm just showing you. There you go. So that's it. One <laughs> tablespoon is fine. Pasta water is fine. And um Enjoy. Come on, Brad.